Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax and today we will talk about per hour. Are you ready? Let's begin. If you are planning to migrate here in Canada, maganda dito because you are paid per hour. So yes, as, as I remember guys, I work in a government, a government institution in the Philippines and then I work also in a private institution. So naalala ko, nagtrabaho sa Philippine Science, I, my position ko before is dormitory manager. So dormitory manager, of course, uh, nagmamanage ako ng dormitoryo and of course, yung mga sudyante ng Philippine Science kasi stay in sila doon. So anyway, naalala ko, ang pasok ko noon is 4pm ng hapon at lalabas ako usually before mag-start yung, pa, uh, yung class nila which is usually 7.30. So nakalabas ako ng mga 8. So kung iisipin guys, yung work ko as dormitory manager is 4 to 8. 4 p.m. to 8 in the morning, which is mag-stay pa ako doon, matutulog pa ako doon, ang uh, almost 16 hours siguro ako nasa school. Pero ang bayad sa akin is per month. And then, nagtrabaho, nagtrabaho doon sa, Pilip, uh, sa private, institu- uh, private hospital. So, ang bayad naman sa amin is per, per day. So, kung ilang lang yung pasok mo, yun lang yung bayad mo. So, dito naman sa Canada, if you are planning to migrate here in Canada, ang kagandahan dito ay you are paid per hour. Kapag pumasok ka ng 7 in the morning, lumabas ka ng 7 p.m., you are paid for 12 hours. If you pumasok ka ng 7 in the morning, labas ka ng 3, you are paid for 8 hours. So, usually po, walang masyadong, uh, let's say, dapat talaga tapos po yung trabaho mo after shift. Kasi kung mag-extend ka, he, uh, usually yung employer hindi nila gusto mag-extend ka kasi per hour ka. So within your time schedule, within your time frame, dapat yung trabaho mo hitapos na kasi you are paid per hour. Uso naman dito yung mga straight or uh, uso naman yung pag overtime, usually kapag let's say sa nursing home, uh, kapag short, pwede ka mag-extend. Pero dapat yung trabaho mo within 8 hours or 12 hours shift ay tapos yan. Kasi you are paid per hour. So anyway, kagandahan din dito guys is hindi uso dito yung let's say hindi mo natapos yung gawain, magstay ka. Hindi. Dito, tapos or hindi, kung sabi na natin worst case na hindi mo natapos yung trabaho mo, uuwi ka ng 7 ng gabi kung anong oras ka uuwi. So for me, napakagandang opportunity because nabibigyan ng value yung, yung profession mo or yung skills mo and then you are paid per hour. So, kaya nga dito, uso dito yung sinatabing dalawang trabaho or tatlong trabaho. Possible yun. Sa Pilipinas, hindi mo na kaya 
mag double job or triple job. Let's say for example, you're a government teacher. Lagay sa mom ko, papasok ng 7 in the morning. Supposed to be yung klase is tapos na by 5 ng hapon pero mag-extend pa until 8. Kasi merong activity, merong inspection, merong, uh, merong audit or something, kailangan mag-extend. So, hindi na yun bayad. Kaya sa akin, nagtrabaho ng 4 p.m. and 8 in the morning lalabas, hindi yung bayad. So, paano ako mag-extra job if ever gusto ko pa ng second job? So, the bottom line guys, if you are in the Philippines, since you are paid per month, and hindi mo talaga na kaya mag-extra job, especially if you're in Manila, sa traffic pa lang, hindi ka na makakapag-second job. Dito naman sa Canada, since per hour po yung bayad sa atin, mar- karamihan sa atin merong second job in a day. So, anong ginagawa? Let's say, for example, papasok ng 7 in the morning, lalabas ng 3 p.m., pagkaya pa ng katawan, papasok ng 7 p.m. to 7, 7 to 7, uh, 7 in, until 7 in the morning. So, usually, ang pasok mo is 8 hours, and then pasok ka ng 7 uli ng gabi, and then up to 7 in the morning. So, worst scenario, worst example ko yun, pero kaya. Merong mga tao kong kilala na ganun magtrabaho. 7 in the morning, lalabas ng 7 ng hapon, pahinga ng konte pasok na naman ng 7 p.m., lalabas ng 7 in the morning. Or meron naman, may mga sideline. 7 papasok ng office hours ng 7 in the morning, lalabas ng 3 p.m. Then at pag, paggabi, meron pa ding trabaho. 8 p.m. to 12 midnight. So, depende po, at least ang, 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 ang the bottom line is, the bottom line is, since you are paid per hour, nakakapag-racket pa sa ibang trabaho o nakakakuha pa ng second job. Comparing sa Pilipinas na per month, talagang occupied na ang iyong oras. So, that's my comparison. That's my perspective. So, ikaw, ano sa tingin mo? Mas maganda ba magtrabaho sa Pilipinas or dito sa Canada per hour? Ngayon, ang tanong ko, saan ka nagatrabaho ngayon? Ano ang bayad sa'yo ngayon? Per hour or per, per month? Ano sa tingin mo? Mas maganda ba per hour ang bayad sa atin o mas maganda per month? Ano mas maganda? So, if you, uh, please, comment it below, guys. I want you guys, I want you to comment on the uh, in the comment section para meron tayong engagement, meron tayong um, pag-uusapan. And if you have question, please don't hesitate to comment it below, guys. And if you want to look for support group, go to Pinoy Canada Immigration Forum by Wen in Halifax. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.